your Wednesday vlogger. This is Amy SD Mom, and I have a special guest today. My new kitty. His name's Twix. I have another one named Snickers. So, as somebody said to me on Facebook, which I thought was funny, I get to have candy bars every day. Say hi, YouTube. Look over there. Look. Look it. Say hi. Okay, so this week's question is, well, if you are at goal, which I am, um, did you think getting to goal and living in maintenance would be how your life is today? I'm going to read the rest of the question before I answer. How has your daily life changed from goal life to maintenance life? Would you say that the journey is over once you hit goal? Is goal the end? What advice would you give to someone who is 10 pounds or less away from goal? Okay. Uh, did you think getting to goal and living in maintenance would be how your life is today? Um, no, I didn't know what it would be like to live in maintenance because like I had said in the last videos, I had always lost the weight without a problem, but I could never maintain it. So having this new tool uh, gave me a chance to actually maintain, which I have. I have um, been at my goal weight for at my goal weight or under for 14 months now. This is the longest amount of time I've ever kept any weight off and I'm definitely smaller than I ever, ever imagined I would be. Uh, my goal weight was 159 pounds. I hit that in November of 2010, mid-November 2010 and Actually, it was on November 19th, and today is January 19th, so exactly 14 months from today. I am uh, 149 pounds today, so I am actually 10 pounds under my goal. And I usually range between 145 and 150 pounds. That's kind of where I stay. Um, I did stay at that goal of 159 pounds for about eight or nine months before I dropped down another 10 pounds. Um, but that, that last 10, 10 pounds, that last 10, 15 pounds to get to goal uh, was tough for me. I lost 120 pounds in the first 10 months. So... I had my surgery in March of 2009, and then um, I got to around 174 to 176 in December of 2009. So in a short 10 months, I did pretty well. I lost 120 pounds. And then at that time, I had some things going on with my family and my home life, and I was very happy wearing size eights and tens. Uh, looking great, getting compliments, feeling good about my body. And I kind of just went into my so-called maintenance mode at that point, and I still had 15 pounds to go. It took me uh, seven or eight months to wake up and say, hello, um, did I fail? I just gave up. I want to get to goal now. So I got some accountability buddies and I started tracking everything I ate again and then I got to my goal. It was hard work though. It took me a good four and a half months to get that last 16 pounds off. It just did not want to come off as hard as I worked. Um, so my advice to somebody that's 10 pounds away from goal, don't give up. If you need to take a month to regroup and think about where you're at and how your body feels, don't think that you can't get back on track and start losing again. Because you can. You can get to that goal. And it's not going to be easy. 
that last 10 pounds is going to be so much more harder than the first 100 pounds or so. It just is. Your body is, is going to fight you, and you have to do desperate measures. You have to eat perfect. You have to work out. It's not going to come off. And um, once you get there, it's definitely not the end. I would have to say, and I'm sorry to tell you guys that are in your losing mode, for me, maintenance is almost harder than losing the original pounds because you get sidetracked and you start thinking about other things and you don't pay attention as much. Um, I think that you definitely have to get on a scale at least once or twice a week and you need to create yourself a um, maintenance range of a few pounds. Some people it's five pounds, some people it's 10 pounds. Or you need to make sure that you know, a certain pair of pants still fit. And if things start to go up, you have to go back into your um, losing phase. You know, eating perfect, drinking your water, exercising. If you're not doing those things um, and you start to have the treats and you have it one day and then the next day and then the next day, the weight will start creeping back on. You really have to keep track of where your body's at and not let it go again. Um, this, this, this part for me is the hardest. I've lost a weight before and I knew that I could lose the weight, but it's keeping it off. Um, I kind of shifted my goals once I got to goal, which are still fitness related. Um, I want to be knowledgeable about um, the different diets, different ways to eat, uh, nutrition, things to feed uh, your body. So I read books. Every month I get a new um, nutrition book or diet book and I uh, study that. And also um, I, I work out, I'm running, I'm a runner now. And I go to the gym a minimum of three times a week for an hour, plus I run outside at least one day a week. So I'm burning at least 3,000 calories minimum a week working out in my maintenance. Not everybody's going to do that. But you need to find what works for you to keep that weight off. It's never ending. This journey does not ever end. If you think that you're going to lose the weight and then start eating like you did before, but just have smaller portions, it doesn't matter. If you don't put good fuel in your body and you don't move your body, the weight will not stay off. Um, that's about it guys. Yeah. I suggest if you're 10 pounds away from goal and you're struggling, I would go back to the very basics. There's things out there you can do, um, to jumpstart yourself. I do yogurt days. That's where I will eat, uh, Faye, uh, zero percent yogurt with, uh, sweetened with stevia drops and fruit all day long. And that helps me get back on track. If I'm up a few pounds, I can lose like three to five pounds in two days doing yogurt. And I stay full with that and I can have as much as I want. And it's plenty of protein and plenty of calories for the day. Uh, you could do a holiday detox, which you can look that up as well. Um, there's something called egg days where you eat eggs and egg whites all day long. You could do the five day pouch test, or you can just cut things out like breads, sugars, and dairies. Count your calories. There's all kinds of different ways if you're in a stall in that last 10 pounds to get your body to come out of that stall. Sometimes you have to eat more and work out a little less for a couple days because your body might be stuck in starvation mode or sometimes you're eating too much. You just have to adjust. If what you're doing is not working for two to three weeks, there's gotta be some sort of change. Um, 
if you know you're cheating and you're doing bad things, then obviously you already know. But to say you have no idea why you're not losing, you're doing everything right, you've got to adjust. Even if you think you're doing everything right, sometimes the body is just going to do what it wants to do and you have to shake things up.